The year is 1860. Four men are competing for the presidency of the United States of America. What roads did they take to get here? They are from the north. The south. The west. They are from families of politicians. They are the children of humble farmers. They are school teachers and shop owners. They were soldiers and lawyers. John Bell was born in Nashville, Tennessee on February 15, 1797. His father was a farmer, but Bell attended Nashville University before he went on to study law. He worked as an attorney at law until 1827 when he was elected to the House of Representatives. In 1841, after a brief time as the Secretary of War, Bell was elected to the United States Senate. He served as a senator until 1859. John Breckinridge was born January 21, 1821 in Lexington, Kentucky. He was named after his grandfather who was a United States Senator and Attorney General. Breckinridge studied at Transylvania Law and University. After moving around, he married Miss Mary Birch and returned to Kentucky. When the Mexican War broke out, Breckinridge volunteered to take part. But his regiment was so late that they did not see very much active service. After practicing as a lawyer, he was elected to the House of Representatives in 1851. In 1856, at only 35 years of age, Breckinridge became the Vice President of James Buchanan. Stephen A. Douglas was born in Vermont on the 23rd of April in 1813. When he was only two months old, his father died and Douglas was raised on a farm by his mother and uncle. He desperately wanted to get a college education, but his uncle decided to keep all inheritance for his own son. Douglas instead worked his own way through law school. While working in a law office in 1833, he became ill. The sickness lasted the entire summer and he lost his home and all of his money. When he recovered, he took a job teaching school in Illinois to make money. A year later, at only 22, he was elected state's attorney. In 1847, he was elected to the United States Senate. Abraham Lincoln was born in a one-room log cabin in Kentucky on February 12, 1809. During his childhood, young Abraham only attended school occasionally. He worked very hard on his father's farm and made money by plowing and planting for his neighbors. Lincoln wanted to learn and borrowed books to read whenever possible. At age 24, he was elected as a member of the Whig Party to the Illinois General Assembly where he met 21-year-old Stephen Douglas for the first time. His studying paid off, and he finally got his license to practice law. He married Mary Todd in 1842. In 1846, Lincoln was elected to the House of Representatives. He later served in the Senate, but was beat out for his seat by Stephen Douglas in 1859. They are husbands and fathers. They are slave owners and slavery's opponents. They are senators, representatives, and vice presidents. They are the product of America's past. They are America's hope for the future. On November 6, 1860, the white men in America will cast their votes. Rich or poor, native-born or immigrants, northerners or southerners, will choose the 16th president of the United States of America. <laughs>